melody It haunted me from the start Something inside of me Starts in a symphony Sings when the strings of my heart Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and to another November haul. Can you guys believe we are back doing another November haul? It is almost the end of the year, like honestly, what even happened this year? And I know this lighting and setup looks a little bit different and that is because I'm actually filming on my vlogging camera versus my DSLR camera and the reason for that is when I was filming my thrift with me video, when I was doing the haul, I actually felt like I was having more of a conversation with you when I was filming on my vlogging camera. It feels like I'm hanging out with you guys as opposed to like me talking to a camera, if that makes any sense. Like when I have my DSLR camera I have it on a tripod well this is on a tripod too but I have it on a tripod with like my lighting in the background and then like my microphone and it just feels a little bit too formal I don't know I was just not really in the mood for that today I feel like it's kind of like a cold gloomy day and I'm a little bit cold so I kind of just wanted to like cuddle up and just kind of hang out with you guys a little bit in the little corner of my room here I kind of wanted to show you guys everything that I bought this month and now that I'm thinking about it I believe everything with the exception of one item is thrifted which is really great you guys know my new year's resolution was to cut out fast fashion completely and i've been talking about it all year so by next year i promise i will like stop talking about it next year's resolution can be cutting out the amount of thrifted things that i buy because it's a lot um so anyway i don't want to ramble too much i feel like i'm already rambling a lot in this intro so i'm just gonna go ahead and jump right into it what should i start out with clothes. I feel like I always start with the clothes. Actually, no, I should start out with that coat right there because it is a huge eyesore and it just looks so bad. Um, so I'm going to start with this. It is so cute. It looks like this. Like, look at this coat. It is just stunning. It is a navy blue and it has these little blue buttons with little gold little details in the middle. I think it's so stunning. And actually, the best thing about it is on the inside, it actually has a quilted lining. So it is really, really nice and warm because it feels like a regular, like, modern coat, like a parka type thing on the inside. But on the inside, on the outside, it is, like, really, really cute and, like, a wool material, which I think is perfect. Okay, but how amazing is this coat i am obsessed i think it's so cute i love the little button detailing on it i love the silhouette how it's like really really wide you can kind of see how like wide that is at the bottom it's kind of like a bell which i love i think that's super cute i believe this is a kid's coat because it's kind of like quarter sleeve on me which honestly i don't mind because it gives me a chance to wear some really fun gloves and just kind of like really show them off you know what i mean the only thing is okay so it came with a matching hat and i don't know how to feel about it um it looks like this Loki looks like a pillsbury boy hat and i'm gonna try it on for you guys but i feel like this is not a look. I look like a child selling bread on the streets of London in the 1900s. Like, this hat is just not it. Like, it's not cute at all. I would probably wear this with like a beret. However, the jacket on its own is fabulous. I love it. I can like keep twirling around in it and it just looks like a giant bell and I love it. So, yeah. The next thing that I have is a little blouse and it is just so cute. So it looks like this. It's like a little short sleeves blouse and it has kind of like this purpley, nudey kind of tone to it, which I think is really, really pretty and feminine. It has all these kind of like ruffles going along the front, which just kind of adds to that like really feminine look. And I think this would look really cute with like a long white skirt. Like I have this long cream like pleated skirt and I think that would look so cute like tucked into that. I just think it's so pretty. And in the winter, I would probably wear this with like a really thick like knit card or something if I'm like hanging around the house and obviously I can totally wear this in like the spring and summer as well and you guys know I love anything that has kind of like a feminine detail to it it's just very much my style as you guys can tell um but yeah I think it's really really pretty and it's actually really hard to find blouses that like button up all the way up to the top I always see blouses like this but they usually button up like a little bit lower which I don't particularly like I definitely like something a little bit closer to my neck this is what the blouse looks like and I think it's so cute and like it's so feminine. I'm wearing it with this little like cream pleated skirt and I think it looks really really cute. Um, and yeah, it has little short sleeves and it has all this really beautiful ruffle detailing which I kind of want to find more tops that have this kind of detail on it. I think it's really really pretty. Oh, I also have this blouse which I think is really really pretty. Um, so this one looks like this. It has a little bit more of like a Victorian kind of feel to it. So um, it looks like this and it has kind of like a little bib collar on it which I think is really really pretty and then it also has these really big like puffed out sleeves so I thought this would be really great for like everyday wear um, I can wear it at home I can 
can wear it to go out. I'm not 100% sure what skirt I'm going to pair it with, but I do have this long black like skirt that I think would look really nice with this, but I feel like maybe that would look a little too Victorian and like not <laughs> in a good way. I don't know, people might think I'm wearing a costume or something, but either way, I'm sure I'll make it work for something because it's such a classic. This is what this top looks like, and I think it's so beautiful. I love this detailing here. I think it's so amazing, and I love how like big the sleeves are, and it kind of cinches in here at the wrist, which I think is really, really pretty and feminine. I'm wearing it with that really long black black skirt that I mentioned, and I look like I could be haunting somebody in the middle of the night, but you know, it's fine. I'm kind of looking at myself in the mirror that's like right here, and it's actually kind of a vibe. Like I'm actually kind of feeling the long skirt with this. Let me just bring the camera so you guys can see what I'm talking about. Okay, can you guys see this? Like. You guys can't even see the full thing, but is this kind of a vibe or have I just had like way too much coffee today and I'm just getting too excited about everything? So for the past few months, I've been really into collecting like slips, uh, whether they're like the short ones, like the skirt ones, or like a full slip. And I found that this one at the thrift store, I always look in the slip section and I always end up coming home with something. To be honest, I just think they're so beautiful and my drawer right now is like getting all filled up with slips and it just looks so beautiful. Um, so I just love opening the drawer and just looking at them. Um, anyway, so I found this one, which I thought would be really, really pretty. I love wearing these underneath like dresses and stuff. So it's kind of like a cream color and then it has all this lace detailing at the front, which I thought looked really really pretty. I've gotten so used to wearing something underneath a dress or a skirt that it just feels weird to not wear something underneath if that makes sense. I don't know I just I find it really comfortable. This is what the slip looks like. I think it's so beautiful. It's gonna look so nice underneath like dresses and I know it's not like super fitted or anything like that but I still think it looks really nice and not all of my dresses are super fitted anyway so I think it'll be a really nice addition to something to wear underneath a dress or just as pajamas or something. I don't know I just love slips. I think they're so cute and like so feminine and totally something that you don't really see a lot of girls wearing nowadays it has this like really beautiful like lace detailing right here you can kind of see it there um really really pretty I also got to this one, which I would argue is more of a pajama than a slip, uh, but it has a very similar look to it, and I just thought it was so pretty. So this one looks like this. This one kind of like cinches in at the waist a little bit. It has all this really pretty like lace detailing here, like on like the rib cage, like where it kind of like cinches in, and it has these like really faint little like light blue flowers. It also has a very flowy like little skirt at the bottom, which I think is so cute. So I can totally see myself wearing this like around my room, dancing around, and I'll feel like a fairy or something just because of the silhouette of this i just think it's so 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 pretty um and you don't really find things like this at the stores anymore so definitely check out thrift stores vintage stores if you are looking for something like this okay but how beautiful is this i am obsessed i think this is so stunning it's very like victorian and it just feels like the most beautiful set of pajamas like ever um it has this really beautiful like lacy detailing here in the front that i think is really really pretty um i don't particularly love the little tie it came with so i feel like i'm probably going to replace it maybe with something light blue just to kind of bring out these little light blue bits here in the lace i actually have another pajama to show you guys and this one is so much fun it has a more like 1950s kind of look to it um it's like all made out of like this baby blue tool and it is just so beautiful it has like these really big kind of like puffed little like cap sleeves um and it looks like this and it's really really nice and long and i just think it is so beautiful i can't wait to like lounge around in this it might be a little bit too cold now so i might have to wait till the spring i definitely prefer like pastel light colors for pajamas i just think it looks so pretty and i don't know it makes me want to like dance around like a disney princess or something like Okay, so the lighting disappeared. It's really dark outside and it's only like 4 o'clock because it's raining. So I have to turn the lighting of my room on, which is not the most ideal. But let's just pretend that it's fine. It is so cute. I am obsessed. I love every single thing about it. It is really long, so it goes all the way up to like my feet almost. Like it almost touches the floor. Um, but it's really, really cute and it makes me want to keep twirling. And I don't know, just I feel like a princess when I'm wearing it. I love this collar detail. I think it's so cute and the little sleeves are super feminine. So love that. 
the last clothing piece that I have is another one of these little shawls. You guys know I love wearing these and everyone makes fun of me for them because they look like a grandmother's shawl or something but I just think they're so cute and they're so warm. Actually you'd be surprised how warm these actually are. This is the third one that I bought and this one is like a cream color. Most of the other ones that I have are more white. This one's definitely more cream. I also picked up two handbags this month and the first one is actually to replace one of the ones that I have that's kind of falling apart. So um, I was on the hunt for something more of like a dump bag. So not a dump bag in the sense that I'm going to be like tossing it around but something that I can just kind of constantly grab on the go that will fit my vlogging camera and all my stuff without me trying to like organize it in my bag properly so that everything fits. Um, so I ended up finding this bag which I think is really really pretty. It's got kind of like a like a medium colored brown color and it opens up on both sides so you have like this one section here that's really really nice and spacious um, and then you have another one on the other side as well so it's like super super roomy so I can fit all my stuff in here. I can probably fit my vlogging camera, a water bottle, I can probably fit like a scarf like it's just it's very roomy. I believe this one was $6.99 so not too bad. The second handbag is definitely my favorite. It's more of an evening bag but I think it's really really cute. Um, like look at it. It is such a classic. It's kind of like one of those like needlepoint kind of bags. I showed you guys a similar one in my vintage handbag collection. It's a little bit bigger and it's more cream. This one definitely has a little bit more black to it so it looks completely different. I just think it's so cute. It's gonna look so nice with all of my outfits so I'm really excited to take this out. I actually haven't used it yet but I'm very very excited to. The next accessory that I have is actually another pair of gloves from Cornelia James and you guys know how much I love Cornelia James gloves. They're glove makers from England and they make the most beautiful gloves. I've raved about them on my channel as well as on Instagram because their gloves are just spectacular. Like they are beautifully made. I'm going to be adding a link to the description box because you guys don't want to miss out on these gloves because they are just so beautiful. Um, so this ones look like this. They're merino wool and they have like a little faux fur um, cuff on them. And what I love about this design is that it is so feminine. Like the actual glove itself is really nice and fitted and then there's a little small detail that just makes them look so feminine and elegant and it is this little extra gap here between where your hand ends and like your wrist and usually whenever I see gloves that have like a full fur cuff like this the glove usually ends like right there and I don't think that looks as cute as this like do you see this difference like look at that versus that you can definitely see how much more feminine and elegant that looks just based on that small little gap of fabric that just kind of adds something a little bit extra and I just think it is so beautiful it looks a little bit more vintage and just elegant like I actually feel so elegant wearing these and the best part is that I can actually use these with my phone so it has a little touch screen thing on the index finger as well as on the thumb which is perfect if you live in a cold climate like I do so here in Toronto or in Canada in general it gets super cold so if I have to answer a text message or if I want to take a photo I don't want to take my gloves off just because my hands are going to get really cold so I can actually use my phone and keep my gloves on and still look fabulous while doing it. Moving on to like random items that I bought this month. Um, the first thing that I got is a sweater clip and I actually found these at the thrift store which is surprising. Usually you don't find sweater clips at the thrift store. I've only found one there once I believe so this is the second time that I found one and it is so beautiful. I actually didn't own a single sweater clip that looks like this. It is just so elegant and has all these kind of like little like diamondy things on the edges there so so when you put it on, I don't have a collar right now or a sweater, but when you put it on, it looks like that. And then you have the little jewels there on the top and it just looks so pretty. It's like little, I don't want to say flowers, it's more like a leaf, but I just think it looks so pretty. So really excited about this. Most of the sweater clips that I have are gold. So it's a really nice addition to my collection. Okay, I keep buying like the randomest things at the thrift store just because I, I see them and I'm like, oh, pretty. And then I end up buying it. And then it's like, what am I going to do with that? Where am I going to put that? I have no idea. It's just kind of like collecting all in one corner and I don't really know what to do with them. And I want to display them somewhere, but... I just don't have the room, you know? But this is one of those things that I bought that I'm like, I have no idea where I'm gonna put this. But it looks like this, it's like a figurine. It's like a couple, like a Victorian couple or 18th century couple, to be honest. I'm not really sh exactly sure what decade this is. Let me just, we'll all just pretend like we know. I mean, look at how cute that is. I want her outfit so badly. It is just amazing. And this base right here is just everything. I think it is so stunning. Um, like I said, I don't really have a spot for it. So not really sure where I'm going to put it. However, it does match my candle holders really nicely. So maybe I can kind of fit it in somewhere. I don't know. I'll update you guys on that later. I also got like another little... I don't want to say statue, figurine, I guess. Um, but I actually have a home for this one, and it looks like this, and it's a tiny little bird.
truly i don't even like birds they kind of scare me after i was attacked by that goose but this one is just so cute Moving on, the next thing that I have actually showed you guys on my Instagram, and it is like a little trio of picture frames, not picture frames, like frames, because you don't put pictures in them, but they're like embroidered frames, so it looks like this, and there are three of them, and look at how beautiful these are, they have like little like needlepoint flowers on them, and I just think it's so beautiful, I'm obsessed with them, again, don't really have a spot to put these anywhere which is a problem i don't know maybe i'll put them on like my no i don't want to say mantle because it's not a mantle but like that shelf that i have underneath my window with like my eggs on it i just thought maybe this would look kind of nice there maybe i don't know we'll see again i'll update you on where i put all this random things that i keep finding the next thing that i have is this random wooden box and i was actually looking for a box so that i could put all like my stationery in it like my pencils and my pens tape all that stuff and i came across this one at the thrift store i was kind of like looking at it i grabbed it and i wasn't like 100 percent sure i was gonna buy this i just kind of like grabbed it like at random just to open it and when i opened it there was a hidden message inside so that in itself just like sold it for me like like I was already like okay that's in my cart like I'm getting it um and it's really cool it's actually like from an old like candy shop from the states I did a little bit of research on it and apparently at one point it was like the most beautiful candy shop like in the United States or something I did a little bit of like research on the brand on the company so like I said there was a note stuck or taped to the inside of the box like that it's like handwritten so let me read it for you guys <clears throat> I think this is over a hundred years old. I found the raised writing on the front picture interesting, which I does I does have a little bit of like a raised writing on the front here, like right in the corner there. Um, I was tempted to try and remove the water stain on the top left bottom middle of the photo. I don't even see what he's talking about, but okay. But I was afraid it might make it worse. Fair. I bet those candies were good. I love glazed what is fruits. I love. I think that's what it says. On, this person's writing is not very good. I'm sorry if this is your box, but the ticket was there when I found it. I don't know what GED1437W means. I'm assuming that's kind of like a random code for whatever shop it was from. Um, I got it from an antique shop in Battleground, Washington. Like I said, it has like a little um, old tag there on the inside. And I feel like if it's a wooden box, like I feel like candy doesn't really come in wooden boxes. So I would imagine that it would be actually that old. Again, not a hundred percent sure. I tried to do a little bit of research. This is what the brand looks like. If you want to pause there, if you do want to do a little bit of research on it, that would be really cool. I didn't find too much information on this particular product or how old this could possibly be. So I'm not hundred percent sure to be honest. Either way, I love the idea of the hidden message. So that pretty much sold it for me. So I'm excited to fill it up with all of my stationery. Um, and yeah, so that's the mystery box that I found at the thrift store. I only have three more items left and they're all books. And this is actually one of the most exciting things that I found this month or for a really long time, actually. The first book that I found was Alice in Wonderland and then the matching set for Through the Looking Glass. And this is actually a 1946 copy in like near perfect condition. And I am so excited. The only damage that it has is really like in the little corners there, but the interior is impeccable. Like it looks like it's brand new on the inside and it's so cool. It has the most beautiful illustrations on the inside. Like, let me open up a page that has an illustration to show you. See, it has like the nicest illustrations on the inside. I just think the book itself is so beautiful. I love this pattern, the color palette. I think it's really, really beautiful. Um, and then here's the other one. This one is through the looking glass, looks like that. It has the little red spine there. And again, this one has the really beautiful illustrations inside as well. Let me open up a page to show you. Here's one, Let's see. Sorry, if the lighting looks different, it's because my battery died and I had to charge it for a few minutes um so yeah anyway i also wonderland and through the looking glass really really cool additions from 1946 so i think this is actually such a gem i was shocked that they were actually still on the shelf and no one had picked them up already or even just some of the staff that worked at that thrift store if i would have seen this i would have picked it up for sure it's such a classic and i know this would actually be worth way more than 3.99 so um i guess it's my little treasure hunt i guess so my little treasure that i found on a treasure hunt that brings us to the very last item in this haul and it is a little book and it's called sesame and lilies by ruskin and I have reasons to believe that this is from 1871. Um, I'm going to read what it says on the inside. I actually looked this up and it was originally published in 1865. And a lot of the copies that I've seen online from like the 50s look newer than this. Um, and just this is what the photo looks like. So it looks like this. It's kind of beat up on the outside. 
um, as well as the back. It's not exactly perfect. Um, the inside of it, however, looks immaculate. Like it looks really, really clean on the inside. Like all the pages are incredibly clean. I actually don't think this is opened all that much, to be honest. Um, but there's a little passage on the inside. Um, I usually look in here to find what the date is. And it has a little small paragraph there that I'm going to read for you. I'm going to read you the little passage that it says. So it goes, <clears throat> Note, the admirable and thoroughly characteristic preface to the present volume was written by Mr. Ruskin on the occasion of beginning the publication of a new and revised edition of his works in 1871. The preface is given here entire with the exception of two short passages relating to other volumes of the series. And these omissions are denoted by asterisks or points. So... To me, it seems like this is an 1871 copy. Like I said, originally it's from 1865, 1867. I looked it up and that's pretty much what it came to. Um, if you have any information, I tried finding other versions of this exact book, but if it is that old, I feel like I won't find many photos of it, if that makes any sense. I'm gonna be doing a little bit more digging and see if I can find it. So check out on my Instagram and see if I can actually find more information on it. This is $1.99, I was shocked. If it is from 1871, I am actually really happy that I actually own something that's that old and I paid $1.99 for it. When I saw this at the thrift store, I was like obsessed with this kind of like cover art. You guys know I love this style of art. You guys can see it on like my back walls there. I have a very similar like vibe in my paintings that I have in the back there. And yeah, that pretty much wraps up this video. I'm gonna do this outro really really fast because my camera is flashing again my battery's dying again um so i'm just gonna wrap it up really really quickly um let me know in the comments below which item was your favorite as well as subscribe if you're not already subscribed and turn on your post notifications so that you don't miss out on any new videos also please let me know in the comments below if you have any requests for christmas videos i am gonna be doing vlogmas what else do i have to say um i think that's pretty much it for today's video i will see you guys next time bye